Hello, friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. Hum aapke host aapke dost Roy aur dosto aaj ke is episode mein aapka bahut bahut swagat hai. Aapko malum hai friends we are actually discussing our series 7 jahan pe we are exploring triangles. Aaj hai dosto episode number 8 aur aaj friends we are going to talk about SSS that is side 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 congruence rule ke bare mein. Now dosto aap dekhoge this video is a short video and the reason is this because Hum, dosto, we are going to explain to you what is SSS congruence rule, but we will not be actually going ahead to prove how or why SSS is a congruence rule. But we are going to talk something about it, which will be quite interesting. So, chale, dosto, let us get started. So, what is a SSS congruence rule? So, so SSS, yani ki side, side, side congruence rule, it states that if three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of another triangle. So, if three sides of one triangle are equal to corresponding three sides of another triangle, then we say that two triangles are congruent. So, this is what I mean. Let us take some examples and understand this. So, dosto, basically, if you have a triangle ABC and you have a triangle PQR, so dosto, agar AB is equal to PQ, agar AC is equal to PR, and agar BC is equal to QR, or aapko malum dosto, ki this is how we are showing ki ye corresponding sides equal hai. Yahan pe do aise straight lines draw ki hai aur do aise dashes draw ki hai, so that to indicate ki BC is equal to QR. Here we have drawn one hash mark like this to say that AB is equal to PQ and here we have drawn three small, small hash marks bars draw ki hai to, to show that AC is equal to PR. So, if so, in one triangle, three corresponding sides are equal to their uh, corresponding parts or corresponding sides in the other triangle, then we say that in the triangle that these two triangles are congruent. That is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Now here this is a very easy to remember because this is side side side. Right? So teen SS hai, SSS. Now those are a lot of uh, people they may confuse ki Tino side in one triangle are equal to Tino side in another triangle. Is matlab ye nahi hai dosto ki aapas mein, if you look at triangle ABC. Within triangle ABC, harek teen sides equal hai. That is not what is meant. Because if you think that teen sides equal hai in the same triangle, then ABC mein, aap socho ke AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. Matlab ki agar equilateral triangle hai. But that is not the point. Point ye hai, dosta, ki do triangles mein, aapko malum hai, jab kabhi hum congruent triangles ke baare mein baat karte hai, we are always talking about two triangles. So, दो triangles में उनकी corresponding sides equal है, that is AB के साथ PR equal है, BC के साथ QR equal है, and AC के साथ PR equal है, अगर ऐसा होता है दोस्तों, then we say both triangles are congruent by SSS congruence rule, SSS congruence rule. Now दोस्तों, आप, we will take some, uh, some of these examples, आप यहाँ पे notice कीजिए, now, अगर you can have a situation like this, यहाँ पे तीनों sides equal है, and we are again showing it by these marks. So, इस side के साथ ये side equal है, this is equal to this side and this is equal to this side. So, we say these are congruent triangles. Similarly, दोस्तों, आप मान लीजिए, if you have triangles like this, so यहाँ पे you will call these two triangles congruent because आप notice कर रहे हो, that corresponding sides are equal, right? And let us take one final look at the last example here. You have another uh, triangles of different sizes. Here we are showing you that triangles can be of different sizes and shapes. So here you have these triangles. Here triangles are little, uh, drawn a little differently. Or here we have triangles drawn thodi si or differently. But in all these cases, also, the point we are highlighting is that if corresponding sides, three corresponding sides are equal, hai, then we say that all these pairs of triangles are aapas mein congruent triangles. Now, so, um, jab kabhi hum baat karte hain about SSS congruent rule ki, so what comes to your mind? So, immediately, those a lot of times we think about what about AA? 
ए ए कॉन्ग्रुएंस रूल राइट बिकॉज हमने अब तक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंस रूल देखी है एस सो वी हैव सीन वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विथ एस ए एस जो कि हमारी एक एक्सियम थी राइट right? उसके बाद वी सॉ ए एस ए राइट फिर वी सॉ ए ए एस राइट एंड देन उसके बाद दोस्तों वी एक्चुअली आर राइट नाउ लुकिंग एट एस 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 राइट so lot of times we think so what about a a a is this a congruence rule now dosto let us look into the answer for this aap notice karoge dosto no a a a is not a congruence rule there is nothing called a a a congruence rule iska matlab dosto if three angles of one triangle are equal to corresponding three angles of another triangle we cannot say this is important dosto we cannot say That two triangles must be congruent. So आप बोलोगे वाई इज दिस मतलब अगर तीन एंगल्स ऑफ वन ट्राइंगल आर इक्वल टू तीन एंगल्स ऑफ अदर ट्राइंगल सो वाई आर वी सेंग इट इज नॉट कॉन्ग्रुएंट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यहां पर दोस्तों वी हैव ड्रॉन टू ट्राइंगल्स जस्ट टू शो यू यहां पर वी हैव ड्रॉन दिस ट्राइंगल इन सच ए वे दट दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू दिस एंगल दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू दिस एंगल एंड एंड This angle is equal to this angle. But दोस्तों angles आपस में corresponding angles are all equal. But आपको लगता है दोस्तों these two triangles are congruent. मतलब अगर आप इसको उठा के if you can put it on top of this, do you think this will exactly completely cover this? No. Clearly ये triangle बहुत ज़्यादा बड़ी है. So these two triangles are not congruent. So even though तीन corresponding angles equal है, but these two triangles are not congruent. Similarly, so we will take one other example before we wrap up the presentation. यहाँ पे आप देखिएगा दोस्तों. Again, we have drawn these triangles in such a way that we have this angle is equal to this angle. We have uh, this angle equal to this angle, and we have drawn this angle equal to this angle. So even though we have drawn all the corresponding angles equal, clearly we can see that these two triangles are not congruent. So, so this is very very important. Jabki S S S S S S. This is a valid congruence rule. मतलब कि हमेशा अगर आपके पास तीन sides of one triangle are equal to corresponding three sides on another triangle, this will always be valid. ठीक उसी तरह से A A A is not a congruence theorem. ये आपको ध्यान में रखनी है दोस्तों. This is not a congruence theorem or a congruence rule. So, दोस्तों अगले वेबिसोड में फिर मिलेंगे तब तक के लिए शुक्रिया धन्यवाद